Hi again, welcome to another video. And in this video today, I'm gonna to be unboxing this box on the table. Um, I bought it a couple of weeks ago. I know I know what it is, obviously. Um, and it's gonna be part of a series of videos I'm going to do. I'm not sure how the videos are gonna come out, um, or how I'm gonna, yeah, put them on the channel. But yeah, it's gonna be a series of videos. Um, so what I'll do, I'll unpack it and then We'll have a look and I'll explain what the series of videos is going to be about. So there's a bit down there which is part of it, but I'll leave that at the moment because we don't really need to see that. And I'll just undo this. It has the top, we wrapped it up quite well. Um, he didn't actually want to send this, but um, I sort of bought off eBay and I sort of, I sort of pushed it for him to, to send it. Um, I think I actually mentioned to him that I did want it to do a YouTube video. I think that's what actually swayed him to send it. Um, not that you're off my channel or anything. I'm not sure he was interested in this sort of stuff. I think he was clearing his father's house. Um, and there was a little bit of a story to go with this as well. And I'll um, tell you that when we've unwrapped it. But what he told me in one of the messages anyway. Um, he didn't have much luck with Hermes either. He um, had to re-sort it out to send with um, DPD. I don't, never have no trouble with Hermes. I always find they're okay, but some people have a lot of trouble with them. So, yeah, um, I suppose it's different in different areas or whatever. But anyway, it got here and, the, and he sent it in two separate parts. I'm not really quite sure why he did that because he could have put the other part just on top. But there you go. Um, I was happy with what he charged me for postage, so I wasn't going to argue. And it was actually something I was going to um totally renovate restore as part of a sort of just a series of videos just about this one item but um i probably won't because it looks in better condition than i thought and it'd be a shame to sort of repaint it in that because it's a little it's sort of in survivor condition from what i saw but we'll know in a second what it's really like i might have to just take the box out of the way a little bit and I will have to probably just put something on the table because it might be a bit oily. So I'll be back with you in a second. I haven't unwrapped it any further. I've just put that paper and that back on the table. Like I said, I knew what it was anyway. So there's part of it. Uh, probably give it away a little bit. I'll show you that first. It slightly took it apart. There we go, so it's wrapped up in the box. There's a few other little bits and pieces in there. I don't know how he's done it. I think he could nearly have sent it all together, to be honest. But, you know, just get some people sort of say, I will worry about things like this. But you can probably see what make it is if you're clued up with this sort of thing. There we go, that's a golden oldie, isn't it? Um, it's a steel 08S chainsaw. Let's get it out of there. And it's supposed to run, but what I shall do, I shall take it sort of apart to, to a degree, clean everything right down, uh, put new new plug in it. Let's have a look what the plug looks like. Bosch Germany on that plug. It's, it's green with Bosch Germany. That's an original Bosch looking plug. I reckon that's been in there a long time. Um, it's clean. I might keep that because it, um, it's quite nice to sort of keep things like that on things. Um, what's the recall? The recall rope could do with being done there. Um, but what I'll probably do, I'll probably take the carburetor apart on this, give that a good clean out, put a new diaphragm and gasket in it. Uh, the idea for this, um, 
was originally to restore and perhaps powder coat all of that but you can see how good it is it's in sort of what i call survivor condition it's in it's in nice condition for its age and i'm going to keep i'm going to keep it like that uh, the reason i wanted this particular model is i believe the carburetor is the same as on the steel ts350 cutoff saws um and the handle's much the same in that as well on them um so that's why i wanted it because um I like them engines, I like them carburettors, so I'm gonna, um, whether I keep this or not, I don't know, but I wanted to work on one basically, so that's why I bought it. Come up at a decent price, got the old steel badge on it. Not sure of the age of these, you would definitely be going back to the 70s, I would think. And yeah, it looks all right. I've got the, the I won't actually undo the other bit, just over there, the other part I showed you was the, the chain bar. So it comes with a chain bar. It was all it was all complete, but he took it apart a little bit. Um, so uh, there is numbers on the side there, but whether you can get anything from that, um, I don't know. But a little story was about it. Um, his dad was using it uh, with a friend, and they had the friend had an accident while they were using it. But um, I hope that's paint um but um you know that's all part of the story about the saw it's got a little bit of um history where it's a bit like i said a bit cringeworthy really um history but you know that's um uh sort of part of the story of the history of the saw um he didn't he didn't go into details at all it might have been something quite minor but these never had the um uh the chain break or anything on them so you know i personally i would use this saw but it would only be on nice clean sort of logs um and just cross cutting the logs i wouldn't use it in any other way bar that um because it would be too dangerous in my opinion you know basically no safety features on them but i would use it in that way but i wouldn't um any other way it's more for sort of show really um and um yeah that's going to take me on to what this is the series of videos is going to be um i have already have a couple of um chainsaw smaller ones which are sort of quite vintage um so uh what else i have a few lawnmowers that, that way as well quite vintage lawnmowers i have a vintage trimmer i have a couple of vintage trimmers actually so probably five five six things um i could think offhand so i'm gonna do in between it well i'll see how it goes but um however i decide to do the videos but they will be coming up on the channel and i'm gonna call them uh garden machines of yesteryear because that's basically what they are they're gonna at the newest they will be late 80s at the oldest they'll probably might just go back to the 60s latter 60s but um it's hard to date these things because like this i'd probably say i'd probably say sort of early-ish 70s at a guess um uh, some of the other stuff i've got uh would be around that some a bit newer um so i'll just try and keep it it will be Put it this way it won't be new stuff it'll be it'll be 30 years or older so yeah that's the plan for um this and the other items i've got um part wise uh pretty easy to get parts for this i think you know recalls aren't uh, that easy to get um because that is oh it's a plastic there i thought it was yeah i think that's aluminium and a lot of the time they're broken and they're not on this it's like with the other things as well the um, parts might be harder to get for some of them um, some of them be reasonably easy um, I know the strimmer one of my strimmers the fuel line might be quite hard to sort out um, so um, if that's the case I'd have to try and make a fuel line for it uh, I can tell you what that is that is a steel um, the strimmer is an oldish steel I was given I was actually given that by a neighbour and he told me it was a good strimmer but it, it doesn't it does need a bit of work he was a type of bloke to look after stuff though so it might have roughly been it's hard it's hard because i don't think really from sort of in the sort of late 60s 70s uh sort of early 80s these machines changed that much 
I think it was sort of afterwards, you know, when you got started to get up to the 90s, machines changed a lot and safety features become a lot more uh, prominent on them, uh, which on these older ones, it wasn't thought about nowhere near as much. People just got on with it. Um, and um, yeah, like I said, the, um, what I mentioned about the bloke's dad's friend's accident with his saw, um, yeah. For his sake, it wasn't too bad, um, but yeah, like I said, he didn't go into detail, so I'm better off, I'm better off not knowing. Um, so yeah, he told me it was just put away from then, so um, you know, this could have been this could have been in a shed for 20 30 years, you know, it um, it's an old saw. We'll have a little bit better look around it, so I'll show you the other side. Heavyish, but not stupidly heavy. All these older uh, bits of equipment do seem to be heavier because they were better made, to be honest. There's very little plastic on this. Yeah, all sort of um, aluminium cast. Um, you can buy the pot and pistons from if you need be, but he assured me, he said it was all all right. I think probably I'll just go outside and start it up. That might be something I will do when I do the video of this one um, and then just go through the basic service of of it and um, if it needs a new chain put a new chain on it and then um decide whether i want to sell or keep really i've got um i've got a lot of stuff will i do i need this probably not <laughs> but um we'll see um that's where you put your i believe to put your chain oil in i quite like that setup there air filter piece at the back the on off switch there that's the same as the uh, steel TS 350 cutoff saw I've got. Uh, got choke there, all very simple. Petrol down there. Petrol cap down there. Uh, all looks pretty good even underneath. If you look there, oh, where are we? How's that shot? If you look under there, look, it's just you can see where it's rubbed off the paint where it's sat, but um, I don't think it's um, worn at all, really considering the age of it things had an easy life so fortunately for the saw and not for the the friend involved i think the saw is kept in pretty good condition due to that because you wouldn't want to use it after that would you so um you know if i was using a chainsaw with someone and they got injured from it i would not want to use that saw again so i feeling i've got a feeling that that was the reason that this was put away so um you know um but by being that the saw saw uh, has benefited <laughs> um so um yeah i'm gonna leave this here um little unboxing video for you and i explained a little bit of some series of a series of videos i want to do um i will get all the stuff um together got it scattered around different places at the moment but some nice little vintage um i call them classic stroke vintage tools which yeah like i said were very well made you know there's very little plastic on them compared to on stuff today and they were made to last but like i said the safety features on a lot of them was um well non-existent on some but um yeah that's how it was back in the day it's a part of the history of all these all these tools so yeah um hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and I'll be along with another video again soon. So bye for now.